Hi guys, welcome back. I often get asked how long different parts of my EEOC process took, and I'll leave that information for you in the description. But I think what most of you really want to know is how long that part of the process is going to take for you. And I can't really tell you that because our timelines are as variable as our cases. But what I can do is share some of the factors that influence how long things are going to take and some of the bottlenecks that we commonly run into in this process. Factor one is whether we're in the federal sector or the private sector. Private sector cases tend to move faster, and that's mostly because we federal sector workers are required by law to totally exhaust the EEOC process before we get our right to sue. And the effect that has is to clog EEOC system with federal sector cases. One way that EEOC deals with those clogs is by issuing right to sue letters to private sector workers fairly early in the process. Essentially, they offload them to the federal court system so they're not on EEOC's books anymore. And while that may feel bad if you're the person being offloaded, it can speed up your case. Factor two is having an attorney. If you have a good employment attorney on your side, chances are they know how to speed up the process and move things along. And if you're in the private sector with a well-documented case that's worth enough, you should be able to find one on contingency. In the federal sector, it may be harder. Because our cases tend to move slower, attorneys know that it's probably going to be a while before they get paid. And because we can't get punitive damages in the federal sector, that means our cases tend not to be worth as much. Factor three is backlogs. EEOC has backlogs nationwide, and what that means is that any part of the process that requires EEOC to do something can turn into a bottleneck. Now, some field offices are backlogged more than others. Like my field office, for example, served a lot of federal workers, so the system was totally clogged, which is partly why my case took so long. In the beginning, my case was assigned to one AJ who saw us through the motion for summary judgment stage, and then disappeared for about a year, maybe a little over, until my case was eventually reassigned to another AJ who handled my hearing. But even with the new judge, because the backlogs in my area were so bad, I ended up having to wait three years after I prevailed on summary judgment to get my hearing. Factor four is complexity. Complex cases with more twists and turns, more witnesses to interview, more documents to collect and analyze, are going to take longer to investigate and litigate. And there are some milestones that not all of us have to go through that can affect how long your case takes overall. For instance, things like ADR, mediation, and settlement talks can really speed things up if you're working with an employer who's acting in good faith. And they can really drag things out if you're not. Factor five is your judge. Besides the backlogs, which can affect our judge easily as much as they affect us, some judges just like to work slower than others, and some are slower about making decisions. And that's how a lot of cases get stuck. I've talked to a bunch of you who tell me that you've been waiting for over a year to get a decision back on summary judgment or your hearing. And there's not much we can do about that. I mean, even most attorneys won't press them on it because they don't want to risk agitating the judge. And while I understand that, it can be really frustrating. And besides these five factors that all of us have to deal with, unexpected delays can also come up. One major delay that I didn't see coming happened during my appeals process. NASA kept resubmitting new appeals briefs over and over, and every time they put a new one up, EEOC OFO reset the clock for how long they had to decide on the appeal. And even after the process is over and we've won, it can take us a while to collect what we have coming. For instance, after OFO denied NASA's appeal, they ordered them to pay me within 180 days, and NASA took all that time. And I got lucky because some employers just decide to play dirty and not pay at all, and that means that we have to take them to federal court if we want to collect, which takes even longer. My case took about six years, and that's much longer than most of yours will take. And I really didn't make a big fuss, I just sort of let it ride because I could afford to. I know a lot of you can't really afford that. And if that's you, I recommend you talk to a couple of good employment attorneys in your area to find out how long they think your case is going to take and what they can do to help speed it up for you. I want to make a quick announcement about the channel. 
I'm going to take some me time between now and Halloween, so I'm going to be uploading videos every other week for a while. I'll try to touch base in between by leaving you a community post just to stay in touch. If you want to get those, please be sure that you're subscribed and click the bell. And because I want to keep these videos relevant to what you guys need, if you have a subject that you want me to discuss or a question that you want me to answer, hit me up in the comments below and I'll do my best. And finally, I want to say thanks to those of you who left me some encouragement last week. It really meant a lot and it helped. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. Till then, you guys take care and hang in. Life's smart and hang in to win.